aides over to your mansion, 20-something year olds, one of them being, of course, you interacted with Charlotte Bennett. Do you regret inviting these female aides over, often to help you with technology or phone, especially after the multiple allegations of sexual harassment against you? No. No. I have, uh, I have many uh, women who were working in state government. I'm very proud that we probably have more women in senior positions than ever before. And I think that is a good thing. And I think we should encourage people to hire more women in state government, in private practice, in private businesses, and bring them to the highest levels. Governor, Thank you very much. Good. You have the last one. Fair Let's go. Um, will there be vaccines required to enter? Will, will, will people have to be no. vaccinated? No. And what, um, and for, for vendors who pay money, will, will they, what, how will the economics work if they're only guaranteed half of the customer base? You want to speak to this, Sherry? You know, certainly as, as we as we started planning this out, we recognized that, that there is an issue with that. So our, our plan is if we're at a 50% capacity, then we'll charge the vendor the 50% of their usual rate to make it fair for everybody. And Governor, in terms of the curfew, what data backs up closing a bar at midnight as opposed to two in the morning? Uh, well, there is no doubt that if you ask the national experts, uh, they will say that is a source of spread and one of the more significant sources of spread. We've changed the curfew. You know, I am very aggressive. I want to reopen everything tomorrow, right? That's what I would want to do. Get people back to work, get people out of their homes, get everything back to normal tomorrow. The balance is that COVID positivity rate, rate of vaccination, and 41 people died yesterday, right? When people say we're past this, it's over, then you have to say to them, 41 people died. 41 people died. You can't just dismiss that. We're not past it. We're getting past it, but we're getting past it because we're smart and we're doing smart things and you're wearing a mask, and we're social distancing, and people are getting vaccines, and we have to address the hesitancy problem. That's why we're making progress. But to say, forget all that, just act like it's over, that's how it comes back. But 10 to midnight is less of a source of spread than midnight to 2? Yes. Yes. Look, the more we can open, we are. Right? Let someone else ask a question. One more question. Sir. Sir, excuse me. Bernadette, you had a number of questions. Let me get someone who didn't have a question. Your expanding capacity past outdoor stadiums, but not indoor stadiums, like the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, where graduate Nebraska students is just about a month away. Do you expect there might be an expansion of capacity in indoor stadiums so in a month? when there is that graduation, there might be more guests than are allowed at the moment. We changed the indoor stadium uh, rules recently. And look, if we keep or just change the additional rules, more reopening today, if we keep the progress, if we keep being smart, you will, continue to, you will see a continual reopening. I have a graphic I do on the PowerPoints. Nobody likes the graphic. I think maybe Commissioner Ball likes it. It's a valve and a number of gauges and a plumbing system. Gauges determine COVID positivity, vaccine rate, number of deaths. When the gauges go down, open the economic valve. And that's what we have been doing. But we've been doing it because the metrics have been coming down. So we have to stay smart, keep being responsible, keep our civic duty, and we'll keep reopening. I'm going to go to work. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.